I love you too. You probably already can see the title sequence one, maybe two more times. I plan on finishing the game today, but like for me, like actually here, like I plan on finishing it today. I just don't know how many recording sessions that's going to be. Um, I'm probably going to have do something in the middle of the recording. Anyways, it is kind of my realization. I know, I know. At like midnight. Mother freaker! Yeah, I don't know who to have that use that um I don't know who to have use that row. Because, like, everybody I'm taking has, like, big boy HP. Alencia. The answer's Alencia. I'm assuming they don't have any, H any um, XP left over to give her. Well, guys, um, let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, everyone. Wow, I cannot read punctuation. <sighs> All right, everyone's almost ready. Who would you like to bring from the Heron tribe? Rayson, would you join us? Gladly. I'll give you everything I've got. I'll give myself some water. All right, Tower of Guidance, here we come. It's so quiet. Is the goddess here? Uh-huh, she's at the top. Be careful, everyone. This tower is Ashira's home territory. She's certain to have her most powerful troops waiting for us up ahead. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Hmm? So, you were companion to the very first Empress Altina. I am honored that you have chosen to speak with me. You would trust in the word of a stranger? Yes, I can see inside you. I know you cannot speak lies. Is it possible? Do you share some aspect of my power? I do, as did my mother. Generation after generation, each apostle has been blessed to hear the voice of the goddess. We know of impending disasters, how crops will fare. All revelations originally intended for you. The children of my union with Altina. I had no idea. Please, look at this. That mark. All of the apostles have borne this brand. It is our greatest secret. The senators must never know. Because of this brand, I thought that I had been born of some great sin. It plagued me always. Guilt tore at me every day as I hid my mark from my people, deceiving them constantly about my true nature. Oh, child. How can I apologize to you? And yet now that I've met you, I understand. There is no shame in my heritage. None at all. I will not live in hiding. I will reveal to the world that I am one of the branded. They must see there is no shame in who I am. No, you mustn't. You don't understand the danger you will be placing yourself in. But I do. The Senators will do their utmost to rally the people against me, as they did when I freed the Lagoons from slavery. But I will not be deterred. If I am to lead this nation, I cannot allow it to be corrupted by...
prejudice and hatred. I can put the life the goddess has given me to no greater good than this. Such determination. Your eyes, they very much resemble Altina's. I will stand before my people and proudly proclaim the truth. And then I will guide them to a just and honest future. This is my promise to you. Thank you. Your strength of will, the truth that guides your life. You have shown me the way back to myself. I shall return to Goldoa and tell my friends of you and your actions. I will tell them that Laguz and Bjork may once again live together in peace. I will tell them that there is hope. Thank you, father of my mothers. I strive to be worthy of the gift of life you have granted me. So, explanation of what you just saw because I, I just connected all the dots myself. Uh, so that was the grandmother of Sonaki and Micaiah. And obviously she was talking to Lehron, which is one of the three warriors of old. Altina, Agencia, and Lehron. So clearly, Lehron must be alive. Hmm. Um, so essentially what she's revealing is, uh, she act, uh, Altina's children didn't lose all their powers from Lehron, because Lehron was a Hera. Uh, their children actually didn't lose all the Legu powers. They kept some of the Heron powers. The foresight being the big one mentioned, which Micaiah obviously has, and the, the ability to peek into the soul, which Micaiah has. So just more stuff saying, yeah, Micaiah is obviously related to Sanaki. Um, also, it's just... It also kind of reveals why the senators killed her. Because she was branded. Yeah. And they blamed the herons. Because she had heron powers. Whew. Anyways. What was that? Someone's... Was it someone's memory? What is it? Oh, I... Don't worry. It was nothing. Alright, then. Our path leads through that door there. Well, well, Apostle Sonic. What is the prize seeing you here? Frankly, I'm amazed that you, of all people, would dare to set foot inside the most holy power of guidance. The cane? We've been looking for you for a long time. You bound Dan to your awful pact. How did noble King Pelias have sold countless lives in your appalling war? You are beyond redemption. Beyond redemption? Huh. That does sound dreadful. Whatever will you do to me? Oh, and let me remind you, the blood pact is still in effect. You would do well to remember that. I think you know what will happen to the people of Dane if sh should dare oppose me. Enough! We fear your threats no longer. No more will we bounty your every whim. Now that we've found you, we will exact justice upon you and destroy the blood pact itself, ending its power over us. So you figured it out, did you? <laughs> It matters not. This changes nothing. Do you hear me? Here is the scroll for which you've been searching so diligently. Right here, in my hands. <gasps> Yet none of you will ever lay one grimy little finger on it. I've been blessed by the goddess herself. The protection will not allow you fleas to even approach me. The king sees this travesty of the virtue at once. What do we? What have we here? Oh yes. The Apostle. Excuse me, child. But I had completely forgotten you were here. Since you deign to grace us with your exalted presence, dear Apostle, let me share a bedtime story with you. The year was 640, Begnon era. The Empire had been without an Apostle for 15 long years. The Senators were constantly harassed with complaints of the people. There had been nothing like it in history. The voice was calling for a young Sonicky to be crowned louder every day. You had just turned five years old when the Senate welcomed you to the throne as a new apostle. Ah, oh, but my young Mr. Sonaki, what a difficult child you were. You threw tantrums, you screamed and cried constantly. Your conduct was hardly befitting an Empress of Magnion. Everyone was at a loss. 
You wouldn't even stop yelling and crying during official proceedings. And then came along our youngest senator ever, Sephrin, Duke of Persis. When he took you in his arms, you immediately stopped crying. You even smiled. We had to take advantage of this obvious miracle. In an unprecedented move by the senators, we elevated Sephrin to Prime Minister, keeping him serving as close to you as possible. This plan, radical as it was, proved far more effective than we dared dream. A young, handsome Prime Minister and an admirable Muppet of an Apostle brought the people's support to incredible new heights. Apparently, the Commissioner's is gullible enough to blindly follow any leader who is sufficiently attractive. And now, as they were, no one ever seemed to care whether or not you could hear the voice of the goddess. With the new Apostle Prime Minister, the political landscape became unrecognizable. <clears throat> Even in the face of the overtly unreasonable legislation, the two of you would stand on the balcony. A smile and wave later, the people would cheer and go on with their happy lives. It was too good to be true, however. Both of you were only meant to be puppets. Each year, you interfered with our government more and more, imposing your soft-hearted ideals over our sovereign rights. For such trivialities as will you savory and do the day and occupation worth making issues of? The pair of you were becoming an increasingly bothersome thorn at our side. And then this war against the Lagoo forces. You so far as I'll expose our previous indiscretions and demand reparations for the subhumans. This was unforgivable. Clearly, you both had to be removed. Zephyrin really falsely accused of jailed, necessitating his removal from office. The apostle will suffer a sudden illness and be excused from official proceedings. Or so we intended. But somehow, despite our extraordinary plans of great men, here you are standing before my very eyes. If Sephiroth hadn't been freed, you were just waiting for your chance to kill us? Just as you killed my grandmother. Out of respect for her anonymity to cease, I'll be completely honest. Yes, you assume correctly. Your assassination and the plot to once again frame the Serenus Herons for it was a terribly bad idea. Yes, I thought as much. Impressive, Sonaki. When you are first crowned, you have cried your little eyes out. You've grown slightly. Look, Duke, Le King, Duke of Ganos, before the 70th, 37th Empress of Menyan, prepare to be judged. Ha! <laughs> An amusing game, child. Truly. But you must know that there is nothing you can do against me. I am the greatest servant of the all knowing Almighty Asher. I am her chosen champion. And you, Sonaki. Our pathetic wretch, kneeling behind a pack of day and curse. Asherah's judgment is upon you. You will not live to be turned to stone. You will die here as flesh and blood. What a pompous jerk. Yeah, let me just... Oh, uh, now that the joke's over now. Wait, really? I can actually do that? I did give him Paragon, right? I have not shown all the skill stuff I did. Nothing major there. Nothing major there. I guess he's still Paragon. Nothing there. Paragon. I don't think I gave him anything. I gave him Resolve. Um, nothing new there. Nothing new. I'm back. My dog just needed medicine. Uh, uh he's the one dragon foul. Uh, I gave him null. If I. Vantage may be new as well. Nothing new there. Um, nothing new there. Started yet? I just need to get back to the last save point so I can remove Mercy. I don't think you can skip the audio, so I'm gonna have to pause the recording. Then.
find you! No! 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 That's why I wasn't letting me skip. I will be back once it's back to where it needs to be. Oh, thank goodness. You actually can skip the voice acting segment. I thought I was going to have to listen to it again. Good lord. Yeah, okay. So, Alencia still has a skill equipped. Uh, this chapter's pretty easy, actually, in my opinion. Um, so I just need to see what time you're recording. I... This is probably fine, honestly. I don't think it matters that much anymore. I love this map, that too, by the way. Maybe my favorite map in this game. It has a second part of it that I just adore. Come on, you can't even attack the same turn. They both have Lagoon Gems, and the Lagoon Gems have just enough durability for literally every single map. Of the end game. So. Called Re. Oh, that's right. Uh, who else did I give to a car? Car was a car. He is a heater. And he has the Urban. Um, oh, and she has good magic. Because it's good. I also gave her boots. You could die, right? Yeah. Awesome. I had to make sure because that's thunder magic. How good is good magic? She gave him coronavirus. Confident in Makai's ability to survive, to be honest. But I am very confident in Pelias's. I. Dumb. Me. I, I dumb. Me, big dumbo. My boy Edward is good. 
like very good. He he powered. If I had you attack, how likely would you get hit? Wait, I actually Souls can die! Not either time yet. Such a bop of a map theme. I find it really weird that this game doesn't have enemy phase music, because like... Most fire arming games have enemy phase music. Recent games really haven't, though. The Tully's games did it, Three Houses did it. I can't remember if Awakening Fates did, I don't think they did. All the Kaga games did. The GBA games all did. And the DS games did. All the remakes have. This is one of those weird things. That, other than remakes, there hasn't been enemy phase music since the GBA. Which is a shame, because I actually quite. Enemy phase music is really hit or miss. I think it's. I really don't like it in Thracia, but then there's enemy phase music in Genealogy that's a bomb. Uh, that being said, the Thracia enemy phase music I like in context, I just don't like listening to it outside of the game. Yeah, the chapter I'm most worried for actually remaining is uh, Endgame Part 3. Part 4, I think, will be really easy. Uh, the final, I can just let everybody die except for I can die up. So, who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's the thing. Everybody can be murdered. Oh, yeah, you have one, two, right. You still suck, though. How do you actually do a 1 2 range combat? Your defense? Wow! That is 0% hit! Are you telling me that Captain Micaiah is actually really good? I think he drops SS Gadget. Yeah. That's not 12 money. But the weight. She won't be able to double with that, probably. Uh, that has the SS rank bow. I don't care. I might not even open the chest. Now that she's actually shifted. This chapter is just a matter of wiping out all the enemies. Because they're actually not that bad. Uh, he can be pretty nasty, but that's about it. Base Lord! Now the self could die, I'm happy, because now I don't have to worry about him dying getting game over because he's a crap unit. But even now, it looks like his hit rate, his dodge rate's actually good enough. Eater. Frankly, I kinda just wanna do that. There can be no forgiveness for my hand in these evil deeds. Salvation is denied me in my stained soul. My torment will be eternal. Ah, someone has a conscience. 
That's real flippin' refreshing. Yeah! Because Nakaya's apparently good now. That's all I need to say. Apparently Mikaya's good. Finally. It took... Does she finally do it? Does she really have... Okay, there was a 20% hit chance in... Okay, still! Still! Oh, that's the SS bow. I actually don't know what's in that chest. I need to open it. He got coronavirus. Ha! Take that, Hetzel. Hetzel, Gretel. Shut up, it works. I forgot the reinforcements are in this map. That's that's a brave sword. And that is an enemy that cannot be doubled. Oh, he doesn't have the SS magic again. Thank you. Very much, Alex. My internet just died. Not too late, child, to surrender and accept Asher's grace. You can win favor in her eyes by abandoning her enemies. Surrender? You wouldn't dare accept the grace of a goddess that turns her worshippers to stone. Something simply can't be helped. You and I are alive, and we should be thankful for that. I have a feeling that we're not going to be able to come to terms on this. Time to use re Save me, my goddess. Help. I'm leaving one of the healers alive. Um, so I can open that chest, because I have no idea what's in it anymore. I do not want to oh, never mind, that's not a battle. I don't mind right now. Oh! That bow can attack in one-two range. Oh. So magic's like the one thing that I can be yeeted by, right? Right? Yeah. Da 
<laughs> oh yeah, everybody's been put in silence. the barn. Have at him. I'm glad I got to you first. See, I heard that the Saturnus Massacre was all you're doing. That puts you at the very top of the list of enemies of the bird tribes. That may be very well, but I am under the divine protection of the goddess herself. A shabby subhuman pirate like yourself will find me quite invincible. As much as I'd love to draw this little chat out, I don't think I can keep my talons out of your neck another instant. Why? Why are you laughing? Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> Some of us here are just overflowing with the chaos you're, you're, ca you're causing with this fight. That might be part of it. But to be honest, there's a part of me that can hardly believe how much fun tearing your head off will be. This... this can't be! Uh, I was chosen. Finally found her. All the misery Dayan has suffered over this wretched parchment. But this is the last thing we need. Now we can free Dayan of the Senate's tyranny. Micaiah, savior of Dayan, would you do the honors to destroy that damned thing? Of course. Gratitude. Hey, 
Ugh, there's another pack here. A can was carrying two of them. What's going on? Oh, I'll uh, hang on to this. Emperor Sanaki? I promise to return this to its proper owner, Raven King Nasala. Because of this, he was forced to serve under Lakain and he had to turn against his allies. So kill us too? Yes. Lakain's treachery ran deep. At least it's finally over. I'm happy for everyone. As am I. Yet, Dayan and Kilvas' newfound freedom is wasted on the statues that call them home. We must still confront the goddess. Well spoken. We can't stop until everyone is truly free. Come! The goddess waits! This next map is easy to cheese because of the hammer. The cane. To think that the warped dreams of one treacherous madman could corrupt an entire nation. Apostle, are you well? So you still insist on calling me Apostle? I think we're past that, I... So what should I call you, Miss Sonaki? How rude! You have no right to address me with such familiarity! Please call me Empress. Got it, Empress. If you don't have to say it like that, loosen up a bit. Oh, give me a break. You creatures are made of some tough meat. I don't think that girl even needs to hear the divine word, do you? Yuna, you're a bit of a mystery yourself. It almost sounds like you're happy to see people don't necessarily need you. The one constant truth that people like is that nobody can stop them from changing. People sometimes do things that even the highest divinities couldn't imagine. That makes me sad. It also makes me very happy. That's why I love people so much. There are some changes that the goddess can't even predict or control. Maybe Ashera resented that. I don't know. But I knew that Ashera loved people. I'm sure of it. And all this is going to Alencia, probably. Awesome! See, we're only at 35, 38 minutes. In the next map, I'm positive I could cheese and get this video out within an hour 15. So... There's a lot of story stuff here, though, so who knows. Are we going the right way? Yes, Ashera's at the top. We're going up. This is definitely the right way. I'm a little disoriented because this is much bigger than it looks from the outside. It's not my imagination, is it? To be honest, you probably shouldn't look around too carefully. True miracles can overwhelm and terrify mortal minds. If you dwell on what you see here, you might stop climbing. Really? Yes, really! Well, for most people, anyway. You're all exceptions. You all are focused on one goal, and you can't die until you achieve it. That's what you think, right? Yes. Desire propels people forward. That's how it's been since the beginning of your kind. You hope, take, kill, give, struggle. Out of all those needs and desires, hate and strife are born. That's all right. You should want. You should strive to fill that want. You should challenge your fates when all else fails. You can still die fighting. Your philosophy is pretty extreme too. Ashera doesn't forgive people for their imperfections, but you embrace both the good and evil natures of people. They seem to enjoy our internal struggles. The straight road is boring. The feat and destruction is far more interesting than stasis. Is there a goddess who takes that middle of the road approach? Well, long ago. Wait, stop. Everyone, we need to talk. The next one who stands in our way is someone deeply tied to you. Let's go. Ah, so the story's gonna be after this one. Okay, okay. Uh, during these, I am gonna be stopping at the save so that story is to cut off. You've come! Welcome, son of Gem. Welcome all, courageous warriors. <laughs> Cutscenes actually look really good in this game. Not gonna lie. Especially that one. That one looked really crisp and clean. I wonder, how didn't I notice? Your composure, bearing, voice! It all seems obvious in retrospect. 
I wish I'd had the chance to fight you, or see you fight, General. Then I would have known a lot sooner. Unfortunately for both of us, that opportunity never came. So it really is you, the Black Knight. No. General Zelgius. Ike, I have long looked forward to the day we would fight again. Now that it is here, let us not delay any longer. Raise your sword and begin. Let's finish this. Stop right there. I've got a debt to settle with the scum. True, your revenge against me remains incomplete. However, may I ask you to step aside for now? Though, at different times, Ike and I both learned the way of the sword from the same master. One of Dan's famous four riders, General Gawain. He left Dan under an assumed name and formed a mercenary company. I was entranced by Grail's swordsmanship while he was in Dayan. I studied under him. I fought next to him. I idolized him. When he left, I was crushed. I vowed to find him again and challenge him to a duel. I had to know if I had surpassed him. Three years ago, I caught up to Grail. I challenged him to a duel and was victorious. But something was wrong. The fight had been too simple. I thought I'd never... Feel satisfaction again! Then Ike told me why it had been so easy. Grail had severed all the tendons in his right hand and never and swore never to bear that. Ah, read. I can't read. Even though I'm not reading, I'm technically speaking because I'm a character in a game and I'm not reading the text on the screen because there is no screen because I'm a video game character! I swore never again to draw a blade. Can you imagine my joy at that news? I knew that a swordsman at a statue couldn't have been so easy to defeat. My master's skills were passed down to his son, Ike. I will defeat him and finally surpass my master. I trust you understand. Once our fight is finished, I will allow you to settle your quarrel. Please, Tabar. Fine. If you're taking my place, you better win. Got that? Of course. This is my chance to avenge my father's death. This time, he won't walk away. Let us begin. I have a bad sign I can't give him the hammer already. I won't allow anyone to interfere with our fight. Agreed. It's better this way. I can focus on you. No draw, no escape. One win, one loses. We shall lose. One of us will live and one of us will die. I'm ready. Goodbye, General Zelgius. Oh boy. And just in case. Ah, it's about me, has it? Oh, thank you, Lordy Lordy. What can I add in this place? Okay, I'm gonna just do that in between. No, I'm not. I'm gonna quickly pause the recording and do that. Okay, back. Nothing horrible. Her stats are actually pretty good. Defense could be better. Easy map. Boss. Oh, that makes sense. Too much. I want the weakest two there, yeah. Still have an eye for get, technically. So. Yeah, he is not counted as a boss. Now! If you don't kill him, you don't get the wish blade now. So, how does I do? Does not kill him in one slot. Shot. Block. Not. Because 
He only does 46 damage, but... Come on! I have this player phase! Kill the ball! Face me in an honorable duel, and know that I shall be the one to take your life. Hmm. Another threat. I don't need the wish blade, I just wanted it. Did I overextend myself? Time to find out. Because I may have very well have overextended myself. No! Okay, I need Ike to miss both times. That was the one thing I was worried about. <laughs> Prince Kurdaga, don't be a fool. Stay back. I, I, I'm sorry. I thought I could. He sucks as a unit anyways. Nothing of value is lost. Right. 
Nothing of value is lost. And Tempest Blade broke. Yep. Oscar's another unit I'm worried about. If you can dodge enough, though, it's okay. The archers are all that can hurt him now. I like that defense. And of course, every day that I record this game, somebody has to die. Hopefully, Kurt Dog is the only one that I'm gonna have here. Let's see how you handle this! Impressive. Most impressive. I wanted the wish play. I guess the Oscars are gonna keep using Ree. <laughs> you are stronger. Much stronger than before. I have to thank you for that. I grew stronger through our previous fight. To be honest, I was overjoyed when I heard that the Black Knight was still alive. That surprised me. I felt neither sadness nor hate, just joy. My hands were shaking with anticipation. I couldn't wait to fight my most formidable enemy again. Your swordsmanship was fearsome. Fiercer and more powerful than any I've ever seen. After our duel three years ago, I trained hard, I'm trying to remember all of your skills and techniques. General Gawain was invincible at the time he trained me. To surpass him was my ultimate goal as a swordsman. Was I as skillful as you remember my father in his prime years? Did you see a shadow in my sword? I certainly did, Ikes. Thanks to you. I was able to fight my master at the height of his glory days. Black Knight Zelgius, you were my father's killer and my last teacher. I spent most of my life shrouded in darkness. But my life had meaning, and I'm certain of it. Sifrona, I will wait for you in the afterlife. Move on. We don't have much time left. The swords are calling to each other. If Miss was alive, I'd be giving a Londite to her. I'm giving it to Edward instead. The Holy Sword of Londite. It's a counterpart to your sword, Ragnall. I think it wants you to take it up. Imagine if I could dual wield the two, it'd be so cool! But no. The game's lame. Can you still fight? Yes. I will keep fighting. I won't stop until I die. Fair enough. What's happening? Huh? Memory time! You bear the mark. So that's your secret, is it? The blood of the Laguz runs through your veins. Yes. There was someone on my father's side who... who was with a Laguz. My lord, the brand. Do you know of a way to remove it? This cursed thing, I, I, I'm an outcast from my family. I, I joined the military to escape the shame and hatred in their eyes. I live in fear of discovery. When I think that I might see that same shame and hatred in another's eyes, I, I, I come close to despair. I have lived my life alone. Unable to trust or become close to anyone. Such loneliness and isolation, you poor child. 
It pains me to tell you that I know of no way to remove your brand. I... I, I understand. It was a foolish question. I, I apologize. Lord Sage, I, I realized some years ago that I was aging more slowly than others do. And you wish to conceal that fact, don't you? Is that why you rarely remove your armor, even when indoors? Yes, but this ruse will not last indefinitely. In a few years, I will be forced to leave this army's service. And once again, you will be alone. I am accustomed to being alone. My only hesitation is that I will miss studying the sword under my commander, General Gawain. Well, that's how you pronounce it. When the time comes for you to leave, will you come to me, perhaps? My lord? We share a similar condition. I see something familiar within you. I can understand your pain and isolation. But why me? I have a task that I must accomplish. With you at my side, I would feel more confident of my success. If I join you, will I be redeemed? I cannot say. At the very least, however, you will no longer be alone. And neither will I. That is enough, then. You have made my decision simple. When I leave here, I will find you. I am a soldier in the Dayan army. I serve under the command of General Gawain. My name is Zelkius. May I ask your name, my Lord Sage? My name? Of course. Laron. Duh. Whose memory was that? It's just one of many. They're swirling everywhere. The tower resonates with their strength. But who is it? Who do they belong to? There's such sadness. Zelius met someone. One lonely soul calling out to another. But he's no longer with us. Zelius is gone. And now, the soul that remains is once more alone. Uh, this is the end of this video, YouTube. I do not trust Dolphin not crashing, so I'm going to do the safe state while I'm doing the closure. Anyways, assuming I can actually get two chapters done in the next video, assuming I can get Endgame 3 and 4 done, who knows? I might not be able to. Two more videos left! Um, and that's also assuming I don't get a game over. No matter what, though, I want the final chapter to be its own video because of all the credits stuff. It'll be a regular length, unlike Path of Radiance, where it was really long. Anyways, see you next time, YouTube. No, no, I hope no more units die. And if they do, well, hopefully not in the next two chapters. Hopefully not in the next one. Oh, boy.